<laughs> yes, that is a nice one. <laughs> oh, Ladies and gentlemen, I've been doing some research into human mating rituals and I've discovered something most intriguing. It would seem that both men and women are attracted to human butts. To further test this theory, I've gathered an expert panel of celebrity impersonators. Let's get their opinion. I like the butts. I like them too. However, my research shows that butts are starting to become endangered. The source of this dangerous trend seems to be sitting on them all day, creating a plethora of dysfunctional buttocks, such as flat butt, no butt, droopy butt, smelly butt, I I, I don't even know what the hell this is. Some people are even known to have a large crack running right down the middle of their butts. Ladies and gentlemen, there is only one cure for endangered butts. The kettlebell swing. Yeah, we said we let it go. If you are looking to tone or build up your buns, the kettlebell swing is one of the best glute exercises around. There's even a term for people who do a lot of kettlebell swings. It's called kettlebell butt. Several of my female clients have received compliments on their posteriors after doing kettlebell swings regularly for several months. So can you. The first thing we need to understand is that the glutes are very strong muscles with tremendous leverage. Using little tiny weights is not going to engage them. We need to use heavy but safe weights to hit the glutes. Next, don't be a low back swinger. Allowing the kettlebell to swing at or below knee level is a surefire way to overload your low back and minimize glute activity. Instead, we need to keep the kettlebell higher closer to your groin. To fix this, don't sit your hips back so soon. Wait until the kettlebell is about to hit you in the groin before you do your sit back or your hike pass. Another way to think about it is to wait until your arms connect to your ribs before you sit your hips back. Don't be a late swinger. Don't let the kettlebell swing forward before you contract those glutes and drive the hips forward. Just remember this, on the back swing, the kettlebell moves first, then the hips. On the way forward, the hips move first, then the kettlebell gets pulled just like a wrecking ball on a crane. If you want to build those glutes, you need to use fairly heavy weight. It can be a single kettlebell, or if you're more advanced, you can use doubles. You want to create fatigue in your glutes by tensing them on every rep. How do you contract your glutes, you may be asking. A cue often used with beginners is to pinch a quarter between your butt cheeks. Every time you snap your hips forward, pinch a quarter, then relax the glutes on the backswing. Now as you progress, you want to learn to feel the entire glute muscles contract on each repetition. The upper glutes, the outer glutes, the inner glutes, and the lower glutes, the entire buttocks. Make sure to get a nice backswing so you can put some stretch into your glutes. This will really help activate them. And finally, the most important tip is to focus on the technique pointers before adding a lot of weight and a lot of reps. If you're a low backswinger, a late swinger, or just a schwinger in tight punch, your glute development will never be optimal. Fix that technique. Ladies and gents, for a small investment of your time, you too can have buns of steel. Uh, about two, three days a week, just do about four to 10 minutes of kettlebell swings. I recommend a fairly moderately heavy weight. Do sets of 20 to maybe 30 repetitions. Take brief rest breaks. Really try to feel tension and fatigue in your glutes. And in a short handful of months, your derriere shall lift, shape, and build up. If you like this video and you'd like to see future videos like it, please leave a comment, subscribe, and of course hit the bell icon so that you can be alerted when future videos like this come out. Till next time, go swing your way to a better butt. The source of this dangerous trend seems to be sitting on them all day, creating a dysfunctional plethora of dysfunctional dysfunctional.